Hey guys. All right, it is now here towards the end of November and just before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. gobble. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and uh, this is our update video. So we've been working on a few projects, trying to get everything sorted. Uh, Shelly has been trying to winterize uh, the garden beds and help to build them up for next year. Uh, so she's been collecting all the wood chips from uh, chicken bins that I work at. Uh, I take care of the animal barn. So chickens, rabbits, ducks, whatever. Yeah. So I scoop out that stuff and I separate out the actual trash and then I keep the bags and load them in my car and bring them home. And we've got a few bags actually sitting over there that I have yet to use because I'm still also having to deal with the fall of leaves, which you will see is everywhere. Yeah, you so, hear it. But this is pretty much what she's doing there. You can see that bed is full of those uh, wood chips. And so then, it's going to help uh, give fertilization as well as, you know, some more stuff in it to create soil. So come next year, it'll just be that much richer and better of a garden beds. You can see I've kind of done some of the ones over here, and DOG's been good enough to not totally destroy them. Uh, a couple of them he's still getting into just because he's a dog and he wants to dig, and that's what he does. But uh, These are the, uh, the bags that she's brought home that we haven't put in yet. But she's got the herb garden winterized right here. Oh, I'll step over here. So since most of the garden beds have already started frosting over and getting dead, I went ahead and moved whatever I wanted to make sure it could survive winter into this garden bed and I've covered it up with saran wrap. I'm going to be doing a little more saran wrap and trash bags is like little flaps of doors, but uh, it was a fence, just a piece of fence, did a little hoop house. Wrapped it really good with saran wrap. Uh, so it seems to be doing good so far. And with a couple of the frost mornings we've had, haven't had anything else die off. So yeah. that's been really good. So you might notice there's a big gap over here. Um, this is where we used to have the tent. Um, where we had been staying in originally. Uh, that's where I put sand down to level down the ground. So we were able to take everything out of the tent because the tent was falling down. Um, thank you uh, to Shelly's mom for helping to get us the tent. Uh, it made a huge difference and it definitely made it as long as we needed it to. Um, but since Max left, we went ahead and moved everything over into the portable garage. And we have everything covered with tarp still in there because of condensation can sweat in here. But we got it all in here. Uh, and we got prepped on a couple of supplies that we're going to need here in a minute, uh, which is the tar paper rolls, and there is tar in those tins over there. And she's got the brush for applicating it when we get on the roof. And that's the major progress that we've made. We actually, uh, today we finished up the roof. Uh, we haven't got all the caulking done. We don't have the tar and tar paper on there, but... And all the gaps and all the boards are up so uh, we got the eave pieces up we found out a really great way to do that it's from uh, Max helping us and then us having to do it on our own we tied ropes to the either side of the board hoisted it up into position and then tacked it and that seemed to work out pretty well but it came through trial and error but you can see uh, that's the eaves now and then how it goes around. Now there's one hole over there uh, that we're using for access still uh, until we get the caulking done. And then we'll go ahead and fill that in. Uh, the big other thing that we did is we winterized the well house. Went ahead and put 10 mil plastic all around it. Put a roof on it and a heat lamp inside uh, to make sure that the water doesn't freeze over. And we still have access to it all winter. We can still get up in it, turn on the hose, use the hose, that kind of thing. But uh, for the most part, that's sealed up. Kind of like the saran wrap, but it was cheaper actually getting this plastic and it's 
big thick plastic that we left folded up as well as doing multiple layers so it's pretty pretty thick oh yeah yeah but we'll go ahead and go inside so you can see now we left some of these sticking out on this part uh because we haven't finished the uh roof for the porch that's going to be coming out uh but yeah you can see it's all filled in now uh you can see a little bit of sunlight little gaps in between the wood and that's all going to get filled in with caulking and then that's our one access point i'm going to pass it over to shelly so i'm going to give you the tour up here from our roof and you can see we've got our couple of pieces already cut to fill in our access hole and you can see that some of the caulking that Max and I had done when he was here visiting. But this is the roof. It is completely filled in and there are some beautiful edges that have been cut all solid and straight so that it doesn't look like weird puzzly pieces. But it's definitely quite beautiful from up here. Um, yeah, you could definitely see, especially with it being fall, that the trees, leaves have all fallen, so you can really see quite far. And uh, it's gorgeous up here, but that's what you get when you get higher up on the roof. This is what it looks like. I really am still quite fond of the center. Let me try to get a better picture of that because it's nice and pretty. Uh, kind of makes it look like a really beautiful star in a way because it's pretty like that <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and hand it back down excellent so you see uh, I mean the only thing left we have on the roof is really to just go ahead and put the rest of these strips up here like you can see in this section right there and uh, do the caulking from the top spread the tar roll the tar paper out and then after that we're done with the roof pretty much we'll do a secondary layer of tar over the tar paper but that's it until we get to the point where we're going to put the metal roofing on uh, which is going to be next year yeah yeah so there's no rush on it um, but then we can start boxing in all the walls and really doing the inside of the house, getting everything insulated in here, run electrical, plumbing, all that good stuff. Yeah, it'll be weathered in from the top down just so that we can work in here. Even if it is eh weather, uh, it'll be nicer not to get rained on directly. So once we finish sealing it with the tar, we're going to be okay to start doing some of the walls and that'll also keep it warmer to do even more projects. Yep. And uh, so Shelly and I both agreed that we each get one fancy thing uh, for the house. Shelly has chosen a refrigerator uh, that she really likes uh, style. So I want fancy ice maker. That, that's ice maker. So she's going to get that the dual door with the ice maker and the water dispenser on the outside of the door. And then I chose the cabinets to be my thing. I want really nice kitchen cabinets. So... Those are the two things that are going to be really nice in here. Uh, I mean, everything's going to be nice because we're going to do the flooring with wood rounds and everything. But those are the fancy things that we're actually going to spend those money on. Those are the on. expensive fancy things. Yes. The other things we're, we're able to make beautiful with what we have. But those are going to be two items that eventually down the road we'll be uh, forking over some chunk of change to get. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We've just been mainly focused... We got delayed for about two weeks. Um, I My back went out, um, and it turns out I have a bulging disc in my back. It's fun. But at the same time, I also gave myself a nice second-degree burn on my wrist. You can see it's a little red still and peeling. Uh, so there was a whole week where I couldn't do anything, and then this last week I was still healing up. Now Shelly isn't feeling that great either. Uh, <laughs> We're just getting old and falling apart. Uh, <laughs> Take but, care of your back. Yeah, d yeah. Younger people, please listen to the old people. You will mess up your back, and it's not fun. Um, I didn't, but anyways. Nor did I. 
Yeah. But yeah, so that we got a couple weeks behind on that, but I mean, we're feeling better now. Uh, and then that's why we were able to get as much done on the roof as we were over this weekend. So we're pretty much done with that, except for like this little porch part that goes over the front door. So you'll see that we have those posts out there that we already placed. Right. That's one of them. And the other one is shining brightly in the sun. So it's harder to see. Um, and we extended out some of the boards from the roof line so that we know where that'll hit on those posts. And that'll just make it easier for us to figure out where to cut it, how far we need to sand and stain. Yeah, so we'll be getting to that and starting all the caulking and everything uh, next weekend. Uh, we're going to take it easy the rest of this weekend because, like I said, we're both still recovering uh, from being old. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I can't think of anything, can you? No? No. Turkey Day's coming up. Everybody just enjoy turkey. Talk with family. Love the fact that we all get to eat turkey because gobble gobble animal is telling you to eat it yummy yeah and uh <laughs> i need we need cranberry sauce still yeah yeah we need a few a couple more things but we got some of the main stuff we're actually going to try to do a turkey um with our stove that we have we might just have to hook it up to a propane and i'm going to look up to see whether or not we need to run the generator to keep oh, the well, temperature regulated i think That's... worst case scenario i'll run an accession cord to the inverter we're fine. Yeah. We're going to double check on that info on how to do that. But uh, I have to work, so it's going to be up to Connor. That's cool. I can do it. <laughs> All right. Everybody enjoy your gobble gobble day. All right, guys. Have a good one.